Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, it's been fairly quiet over the past few hours, but now it's a more active picture on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Each one of our three radars showing a little bit of activity, but it's really between our Muscle Shoals and Decatur radar where we're seeing most of a few downpours that have popped up here over the past 30 minutes or so. So I want to take you site by site. We're going to focus in here on our Decatur radar site between Athens over to Huntsville and Madison and back over to Decatur. A little downpour there just north of town right along the river. All of this is tracking mainly toward the north northeast, so kind of keep that in mind here. A couple of showers here being picked up by our Muscle Shoals radar and one downpour here north of Town Creek in northern Lawrence County. As we look farther toward the east around our Gunnersville radar site, not a lot of activity in our eastern counties, but we can see a few showers are kind of creeping in from the southwest. Look at the wider view and you'll see the motion of all of this. I've been tracking for you this band of storms here right around Birmingham. That's going to be in our area after five o'clock, really more like six o'clock for most of North Alabama, not just our southern fringe. And we've also got this line of storms here tracking east of Memphis. So all of this almost converging on North Alabama. Our activity is going to continue to increase over the next couple of hours before we lose daytime heating. And then we start to see some of this subside. Here's your view all across North Alabama on the Way 31 Sky Camera Network. Still seeing a few sun breaks here and there, but the clouds are building and the temperatures are warmer as a result. We're at 86 degrees right now in Muscle Shoals, 84 in Huntsville, and 83 in both Gunnersville and Decatur. I wanted to give you a look at how much rain we've seen over over the last 48 hours because there is a bit of a flooding threat for us today considering the fact that if we start to see these heavier storms moving through and they're located in spots like let's say Limestone County, Lincoln County, Madison County, those orange areas are upwards of three inches of rain that we've seen in the past couple of days. So the ground is pretty saturated. We will have to closely monitor that threat for flooding as we go through this evening. So something to be aware of in addition to of course the risk for maybe some damaging wind. All of North Alabama is included in that risk for a strong to severe storm. It's an isolated threat from the Storm Prediction Center with damaging wind being our main concern with any stronger storms. Future radar through the rest of this evening. We'll start with a couple of showers and storms here and there, but watch it become a little more organized. That band of storms here moving off to the northeast. This is your view by 8 o'clock. And once we get past 8, yeah, a stray shower or a rumble of thunder here and there, but not quite the activity that we're going to see before midnight. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, a stray shower still possible. As we get into the afternoon, though, some daytime heating in the fact that we've got a stationary front very close to North Alabama gives us this more widespread showers and storms two o'clock now to five o'clock temperatures warming into at least the lower 80s tomorrow mostly cloudy sky past five o'clock there's seven and then once we get into tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning things look a little bit better by both Wednesday and Thursday high pressure tries to build in it's going to limit the coverage of the showers and storms by the middle of the week lasting through Thursday but tonight still that isolated shower chance with us temperatures dropping only to the lower 70 it is a very humid start tomorrow morning 83 degrees for your Tuesday afternoon scattered thunderstorms winds still out of the south southwest five to ten miles per hour meaning it stays humid in your seven forecast looks like this. Only isolated showers and storms for Wednesday and Thursday. Remember I told you high pressure is trying to build in. That does limit storm coverage, but another approaching front brings those storm chances right back as we head into the weekend. It's a 50-50 shot for both Saturday and Sunday, lasting into the beginning of next week. And temperatures hover very close to, if not just below average, for the next several days.